Hey now, Mike Shaman here. And today I'm gonna to review Fluent Forms, giving you my full review. I usually use Gravity Forms, but this is not a Gravity Forms review. This is Fluent Forms. I wanted to give you my review of it. This isn't, I'm not comparing it to Gravity right now. I'm just reviewing the Fluent Forms and how it is. This is a really nice WordPress plugin to use for forms. They give you a lot of options. It's pretty easy to use, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty easy to use. I've made a quick little form here. You can see it right here. It can give you the automatic submit. All right, and then when you submit it, it submits, and I've already submitted this one actually. It keeps your entries in the back end, which is the one thing that is really my, my favorite feature. The entries in the back end, for some reason, you or your client don't receive an entry via email. This way you can just come to your back end right here, and you can resend the form if you wanted to. You can just click this button, resend the form, and the information with it to your email. That's a cool feature, but if you go back into it right here, it's a drag and drop formatter. They have a whole bunch of different fields. I have the pro version, I believe it's like $59 for one site, and then it's unlimited for, I believe, $199. I, I wanted to review some of the options you, you can do with this. They have the file upload, so if you need to upload a file, if you need to do a website URL, you can do that. But I'm gonna show you a feature that's really cool that I haven't seen a lot of form plugins used before. So you can see all the different options they have here. I don't even have all the plugins activated on this, but I have most of the, the core ones that everybody would be using on the year. I have the payment processing one, so you can pay with PayPal, uh, Stripe I have uh, set up here. So you can pay with either one of those. You can set up a, a custom payment amount. So if you want to sell a $10 product or however much product amount, you can sell that product. The labels are very easy to edit. The, the position is very easy to edit as well. The admin fields, they have those. The payment amount right here. They have the advanced options here where you can specify the name attributes to work with custom fields. Uh, if you want to do conditional logic, they do that as well too. So that is just like if then, if their email is, or if their address is in Tampa, then choose this, or if their address is in Seattle, choose this. That's a one thing that makes this form plugin really nice is that the, the ease of use of a lot of these fields and uh, the customization is a lot better than uh, some of the form plugins I've seen. So it also shows the form ID right here, which is convenient to you if you're designing a website, you can just throw that into your uh, page and it will show that form with that form ID. So that's really nice and convenient because sometimes you have to go searching for those things. They have a preview and design button here which you can use if you wanted to preview your form there. All right, there's a preview and you can do some edits over here and and um, they have some templates already set up for styles which is, which is nice. So again, here's the customization of it that you can do. All right, there's a ton of different options here and I like part of the part of the reason I like it is there's so many options. It makes designing this form a lot easier. So especially if you're new, you might be overwhelmed with options. So if you haven't used the form plugin before, you just gotta take it step by step and kind of get it to where you want it. You gotta play with it in order to, to get it to where you want. So let me review something else that I really liked about this form plugin. And that is when you go to make a form, all right, let me go back here, leave this. When you go to make a form, you can click add new form and all these different forms pop up. Okay, this is huge. In my opinion, this is huge, okay? They have these pre-mailed forms that you can do, and just say a couple clicks of the button. So if you wanted to do, okay, university enrollment form. Let's just do this, create form. It's creating the form right now for me. Okay, it's been created, congratulations. And here's the form. All right, you can go step by step and edit each one of these items now to your specifications, to your university, to whatever it is. You can edit each and one of these step by step, submit the form step by step. Oh, one, one other th cool thing I like is so you see the submit form button. If you go to input fields and you go to advanced fields, you got a custom submit form button and you can customize the submit form button a little bit more that way. So that's a pretty cool feature I like. But the, but the adding the forms to begin with there, all those preloaded forms that they have, that's really a, a wow feature for this Fluent Forms plugin. And I really like this Fluent Form plugin a lot. I haven't used it too much. Okay, I haven't used it too much, but from everything I've seen, from just going through the feel of it, you know, like I said, the entries in the back end, that's a big feature for me. 
uh, the design aspects of it, it's really great. Now in the back end, if you go to settings and integration of your forms, you can see right here, you can select all your different settings. If you want to go to a different page, if you want to go to a custom URL, all right, if you want to pass string data, you can do that as well. They have a web hook add-on for the pro that you can do that comes with it. Here goes the labels again, if you wanted to position the help message. All right, so you can just see some of the extra forms right there, extra the form settings right there. Okay, email notifications, it's gonna send an email to an email address. I haven't set any up right now for this one, but it's gonna say disabled, but once you do that, it'll send right to you and this is an easy thing to do as well and then you can set up other confirmations if you just want this to be a particular landing page where it's only showed this form you can do that right here all right enable landing page mode and then it you know you just fill out these options boom what color scheme you want if you want to upload your logo a featured image and a background image you can do that as well here's some custom css if you want to add custom css to it you can do it right there in javascript all right, and then uh, other integrations that you can add. So you can just go to add new integration. If you want to do, if I want to add a user registration or if I want to add my Git response, those are the ones I have set up right now. And I can add those in with just a couple clicks. So I just add Git response and it's gonna ask me what email list I want to add. So I can just do that right there. So it's very easy to add in those other things, those extras that the pro add-ons have and those are very valuable for this uh, i will get the unlimited license seriously if you're going to do flute forms get the unlimited license if you're designing websites for other people and clients just get the unlimited license it's going to pay off because you're going to be able to charge say somebody comes to you and they, they need a form for the university we just showed you how to do a form for your university in about three seconds okay add on all the other things that you need or take out what you don't need by the time you build a form if somebody needs a payment form you're going to charge them way more than 199 for one payment form get the unlimited license if you need it it's a really cool form plugin i recommend it I'm gonna be using it myself on a few different websites that make landing pages and other things to that extent, but a lot of clients need extended forms for job applications, for like I said, the university thing, for contractors or vendors. They need forms for all these things and it connects to all these different extensions here. The one, one of the cool ones that I liked is that it connected to Google Sheets. So that's a cool extension that they have. It works with all these different builders here, the Elementor, the Oxygen, the Divi Builder, the Beaver Builder. So I use the Divi Builder and the Divi Theme plugin a lot. And actually that's what I'm using with this website that you see this form on right now is the Divi Builder. If you want to get five free landing pages for the Divi Theme, go ahead and check out my DiviPlanet.com and get five free landing pages there. But overall, this is a good plugin that I'm going to be using for a lot of my websites now. I wanted to give it my full review. And if you want to check out Flute Forms, there's actually a link in the description to go ahead and check it out. So go ahead, click it, check it out, read through it. If you only want the one site, go ahead and get the one site. But like I said, I recommend the unlimited sites. So go ahead and click through and, and see all the details about that. And I want to let you guys know about Fluent Forms as another form alternative that you can use with your WordPress websites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out my other review videos like Gravity Forms Review, Printful Review. If you're working with WordPress, I have a couple other reviews on there like my Divi Theme Review. So go ahead and check those out and I'll see you all on the other side.